Hey, what's going on everybody? See, now I'm in color. Uh, if you watch my last video, hopefully you liked my last video. It was a little different. Um, talking about a TV show I like, but anyway. Um, so tonight, again, I'm using, as you saw in the last video, if you saw that, I'm using my uh, Rat Ray's uh, billiard pipe that, I think it's 128, that I absolutely love. I've, this is like my fifth time using this thing this week. Absolutely in love with it, and I spit everywhere. The Christopher Morley, Morley pipe, if you will. And I'm actually smoking... Sorry about that, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. Vanilla cream from uh, Boswell. So, uh, enjoying that very much. Mmm. That's great. Anyway... So tonight's video is about a, uh, as you can tell by the title, a bit of mail call or a show and tell. I haven't done that in a while. So first up is the Barrel House t-shirt, which I ordered. Um, this is my mug on here, right over here. This is, as you can see, let me see if I can get that. There's my ugly mug, and there's Joe, the host of the Barrel House podcast. And I'm happy to say this came out better than I thought it would. Um... <laughs> Joe did this on his phone it as a joke, um, but it came out well, and it's funny. I feel I feel like I need to make another shirt that says, uh, I went on the Barrel House live stream, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt, <laughs> and I survived that night. That was a little rough. I hit uh, too much whiskey in a very short time, and my 44-year-old 44, 44 body didn't want to partake in that, was not, not a fan of that. But anyway, this is cool. I'll be wearing this. You'll see this on the show. I might... Wear this a few times, and then I might hang it up somewhere in here so you guys can see this. This is actually, it's a funny shirt. And I don't know why he called me a podcast hipster, because I'm neither of those things. Although, in the, the image that I use, which is from a video, I don't know if you can see that. I, I do look like a podcast douchebag hipster there, you know. But in any case, uh, I got that today. That Or the other day, actually. Uh, the next thing I got was from Ford, um, which I wasn't expecting because, well, first, let me do this. Let me, let me get this. Let me show you. So this is what they sent me. This is uh, a nice packaging. It's pretty cool. I was like, what the hell is this? What are they sending me? Uh, and then all of a sudden I open it up as you should. I get uh, a letter from Bronco, uh, dear Bronco owner, which I am laughing at. Uh, you know, gives it's a nice little, you know, including here's a limited edition poster, blah, 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 which I'll get to in a second. Then there's another interesting thing here. Uh, let's see, it's talking about, talking about exploring basically with a Bronco and stuff and the heritage of the Bronco and that. And then I thought that eh, that's pretty cool. And then, then I got this sticker, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'll post it somewhere up here, maybe, or over there. I don't know. I'll put it up here. Uh, and then they gave me this concept art poster, which I may put in here, too. I might, you know, it might look pretty good. I was looking for a poster that goes over there, and I think I found it. Uh, now, you're all saying, Mike, what, what are you doing? Why did you get this? What's, what's going on? Well, the truth of the matter is um, I reserved the Bronco, and I was very close to buying a Bronco. As uh, some of you, ooh, got something biting me. Whew, bugs. I need one of those bug assault guns in here. I think, Lester, you might inspire me to do that. Um, so, I reserved one a year ago, and I never canceled that reservation. I need to do that, but I'm glad I didn't because I got that nice stuff there uh, in the mail. It was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I know I saw a few uh, Ford Bronco people uh, on Instagram and that get that in the mail, and I thought, well, I ain't getting that because, well, I bought the Jeep Gladiator, which I'm very happy with. More on that in, in about two seconds. So, I, that was a nice little surprise. I enjoyed that. But, we got this, and uh, let's see what's in here. 
B and H, I love this is good. Nice little tear into this. Now the reason I got this, well, if you know what B and H is, you kind of know what the hell I'm talking about here. Um, always good packaging. So let's let's uh, well, let's get into the main thing first, the main course, if you will. So. As you know, I, I took a trip to Connecticut last week to Joe's uh, last Friday and uh, to do the Barrel House live. And I, I brought my camera and everything, but I forgot my memory card like a dope. And I wanted to make a video going there to talk about the Jeep and, and a few of my experiences with the Jeep and stuff, but that didn't work out. And But as I was setting up this camera in the Jeep, I noticed one thing. It's, it's too big. I, I can't, can't do it. I mean, I could, and I did it in the other, the, the uh, Grand Cherokee. It wasn't bad. I had a suction cup mount on the dashboard. It worked out well, but with the, the Gladiator or the JL, the JTs, the, the, it's a flat. You don't have much real estate. You could do a suction cup on the windshield, but I don't want to do that and obstruct the thing. And this camera, I could get away with it, and it's not bad. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but... It's enough where I, I don't want to draw a lot of attention while I'm driving. So I ended up doing, after a little bit of research, picking an action camera. Now I got to say, before I get into this, I had the old GoPro sessions, which are little cube cameras like that. Awesome things. I wish they still made it. Don't know why they don't. I guess it was a patent issue, something. I don't know, but they were awesome cameras. You could just put them anywhere record it was great i had it in my other jeep and i did it a few times and it was cool but they're not around anymore for whatever reason so i went with after doing some research i almost went with the hero black uh nine or whatever or eight and then there was a few others out there i almost went with the insta go but what concerned me was the audio i need to have good audio more so than video i believe um, but I ended up going with the Insta, Insta 361R, uh, 4K edition. Not that I shoot in 4K at all, but maybe I will. What I like about this is it's modular. So you get like a battery base, you get your viewfinder, and then you get the camera. I can switch that camera out for a 361 if I want, or a one inch sensor one if I want, depending on what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'll get that fancy, but I like having the options for it. So that's why I went with this. Uh, so I look forward to using this with the Jeep because I have a few stories to tell and I want to use this. Uh, what else? I also got uh, cost memory card. You need that. Um, the cage. There's a mounting bracket that I needed because this is it has a specific hole and a reason for that. And that is for hopefully I didn't lose it here because that would suck. And I probably did lose it. Ah, here it is. There we go. Is the microphone adapter which I can't stand. I know there's reasons why they don't put the three-quarter jack there. They have to make the adapter for it, but it just sucks because it pokes out. Uh, it's not as bad as others, but, you know, it is what it is. So that was the loot I got, and the reason I, I had to get this was for the Jeep. I may test this out tomorrow, so you may see a, a vlog on the road, me talking about the Jeep. Um, I want to talk about the comfort and ride uh, of a stock Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in my experience and stuff and uh and whatnot so I, I had to go with this this is what i got very happy about it and uh look forward to doing those uh motor vlogs so to speak i just got to remember to put a memory card in right anyway that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the little show and tell. And I will see you guys on the next video.